morning, this is Brian Hassenbauer with DFWFitness.com. Today in our studio we have Marcus Greenwald who is the Executive Race Director for the Perfect. Dallas White Rock Marathon which is coming up in December this year. Um, we're looking to get a little bit of an insight into what's new for 2009 at the Dallas White Rock Marathon and how people can get involved and get registered. So Marcus, how did you get involved with the Dallas White Rock Marathon? Well, I had been a runner for a number of years uh, prior to my involvement managing the race. Uh, one year I happened to get injured and wasn't able to, to participate in the race. So one of the people who was involved in the management side of the race asked me, uh, since I wasn't going to run it that day, maybe I could come out and help. And uh, so the first year I helped at a relay exchange point. Uh, and then from that year forward, took on increasing uh, roles uh, uh, areas of responsibility and to the point that I finally, back in 2002, became the overall race director for the race and then have, uh, from, from that year forward, have uh, been pretty much in charge of the whole race. A lot of good things going on for 09, we're hearing through the grapevine and seeing on the website. Um, what are some of the most important things that you think will happen in 2009 with the White Rock Marathon that um, affect the runners' um, enjoyment of the race? Well, um, this will be the first year that we cap out at 20,000 runners. We sold out at 17,000 last year and the race is really getting big, um, major league uh, numbers. And as a result of that, we're going to have to put some policies in place that help regulate uh, how we get the runners across the start line. Uh, last year we toyed with corrals. Uh, we didn't force it, but we wanted to slowly implement a system that the runners could get used to. Um, this year we will have a very strict uh, starting corral area and waves that will be brought into the corral at certain times. But w what we anticipate is there will be anywhere from six to ten waves. Uh, the runners will have an assigned wave number or letter and assign time to come up to the start corral and then they'll be loaded into that corral after the previous wave has taken off and crossed the finish line. Since we use uh, chip timing technology, uh, every runner will's time will be based on the time that they actually cross the start line and not at the overall start of the race. So uh, it should be very efficient means to spread out the runners a little bit, get the faster runners up front, uh, some of the slower runners towards the back, so everyone has, has a good race. And will the marathon and half marathon be starting together this year at the same time? Yeah, uh, the city requires us to, to start the race at one time. We can't have separate start times. Uh, so what we'll do is based on the average pace per mile, uh, we'll get the faster runners up front and, and go back from there. That sounds like a, a great improvement for 09. Um, are there other things that you're kind of looking at for 09? Any new sponsors to talk about? Well, we're always looking for new sponsors. <laughs> um, we're working with a, a couple of people. It's really tough in the economy, but we've got a, a couple of, of uh, companies that seem to be pretty interested, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to announce something within the next month or so regarding new sponsors. And then we had a, an existing sponsor, Next Bank, who's our presenting sponsor. They s stepped up a little bit more. Um, and some of the other ex existing sponsors have, have said that uh, they'll be returning and helping us out. So sponsorship is always a, a, a big undertaking. And how have you seen the registrations going so far? Because the White Rock Marathon is open for registration now. So you can go to runtherock.com and register today if you wanted to. Um, how is it? Trending towards the, the numbers are a little bit ahead of where they were last year, which is a little surprising given the, the economy. But I think the fact that people know we sell out, uh, they want to guarantee a spot. And we'll probably sell out earlier this year than we did last year. Last year we sold out the half marathon um, the middle of November. And I wouldn't be surprised if we have to close out the half marathon early November, if not sooner. Marathon, um, probably a little bit later in November. But again, that's just based on historic trends. I mean, we're seeing growth in runner numbers in all, at all the major races across the nation, and, and we could easily sell out a lot earlier if our numbers keep going like they are right now. And as far as the actual training for the marathon, right now it's um, the middle of May, so most runners start in June, I would assume, to start training for White Rock. Um, there's a lot of great training programs in the Metroplex. Um, there's probably too many to, to, to name right now. 
Um, so if you go to dfwfitness.com, you can get a list of the training groups and also leave messages for them on their group pages and interact with them because um, I'm sure a lot of the group leaders are actually members of dfwfitness.com. So to get more involved with the White Rock Marathon next year in 09 coming up, what do we need to do? Uh, basically go to our website, runtherock.com. We have a contact us page, a volunteer page that you can go to uh, if you'd like to help out. Uh, we are always recruiting more volunteers. We typically use around 2,500 volunteers race weekend. Um, and and it, again, that's another huge undertaking, and we can't put on this race without uh, those volunteers. So um, you can always go to the website, let us know you'd like to help, and we'll work with you, find you a spot that you'll enjoy yourself working at.